Hey guys, Steph Mishuk of Killer Science and KillerPHP.com. I uh, was reading a blog post, not a blog post, a thread on uh, the KillerSites.com forums, and somebody posted something interesting where they were uh, trying to be sold on a web development and design uh, program and degree. And what they discovered is that only four of, cl of the classes uh, were actually based on web development, according to this uh, post. And the rest were on business-related classes. And, and, and the degree was called web design and development. So that, that, you know, that's, that's just nuts, you know. Uh, you have a, a degree saying you're in a you're web design development degree and only four classes on web development. That seems really strange. So the larger point I want to bring up is that you have to really uh, consider the uh, program you're getting into. You know, when I'm, talk I'm talking about a college or a technical, a technical college or a university program, really look at the details about the, 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 you know, what classes they're offering, uh, what the specific technologies are teaching, make sure they're not teaching old stuff. You see that a lot where, you know, people are going into computer science and they're learning how to use uh, really old languages. It's, it's crazy that nobody hardly uses in the field anymore. Uh, you also look at, you know, what percentage of the classes are actually technology oriented versus, you know, you know, the history of computing, you know, that kind of filler class, you know. You have to understand that a lot of these colleges and universities will force students to take a lot of filler, useless BS classes. Yes, the history of the computer and how it developed is it's interesting, but you don't need to pay uh, hundreds of dollars to take a class on that in the textbook. You just look it up on Google and Wikipedia and you can learn what you need to learn about that. It's not going to have... Uh, hardly any impact on your ability to secure work. So, uh, again, back to the larger point, before I would jump into any, uh, any uh, class or any program, any course, including, including my own, I would look at the contents, understand what you're getting out of it, and, so that you can make a proper assessment whether or not it makes sense. And this applies to any program, not just web related web programming and design, with anything. Really have a critical eye about what you're signing up to, what you're getting into. And again, I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to keep stressing this. Be very wary about getting into student loan debt because it's non-dischargeable through bankruptcy. And what that means is that if you go bankrupt, if you take on student loan debt, and uh, for some reason you're having trouble paying it off, you cannot go bankrupt, you cannot get rid of that debt, you become an effective debt slave. I've addressed this before, I'm going to keep pounding this in because a lot of students miss this and then they, they get caught with tons of debt that was unnecessary. You know, I've had people contact me where if they've completed one year programs or they've spent ten, eight, ten thousand dollars or more learning web design or web programming, and they come and they see one of our packages for a hundred bucks, teaches them much more and much better. And and what you're going to find is that a one-year certificate in uh, web programming is you know can help you in certain areas, but it's not worth becoming a debt slave. You know, again, I'm rehashing this statement, but again, have a critical eye about what you're getting into before you get into it, and this applies to anything anything. So uh, that's it.